This video has been brought to you by my book, Fight Mega Man for Everlasting Peace Volume 1. Check it out in the description below. Ryan, you did a good job with the Slime Mori Mori 1 review in the previous episode. But I feel that the blob will be back with even more malicious force. I think we need to start getting our tank ready. Yes. As Ryan delivers this rocket slime review, we shall begin preparations for the tank. I have a feeling in order to defeat the plot this time, we need to break the rules and become... assholes. Hmm, what do you mean? As Sakchief said in his review, So while things are being shot into the air, you can be an asshole to the enemies, infiltrate their defenses, and beat the shit out of them to prevent them from firing. Hmm, you're right. Sack Chief did say that. I don't quite understand what you mean. But if a plob has to play dirty, so shall we. Serve it? Let us prepare our armaments for war. Yes, your highness. Ryan, I'm counting on you to deliver the best review you can. Absolutely, your highness. A tank preparations ready? Not yet, boss. Get a move on, you bums. I want to crush that no good reviewer, Ryan, with our new plop firepower. Right away, boss. Soon, Ryan, you'll be a smear on the ground. Once my tank treads smash your puny corpse. <laughs> Welcome to Awesome Video Game Memories, where we talk about awesome memories about video games. I'm Ryan, and the game we're going to talk about today is Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime for the Nintendo DS, which is actually the English version of Slime Mori Mori 2 for the Nintendo DS. So Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime for the DS, also known as Slime Mori Mori 2 Dragon Quest Dai Sensha no Shippodan, which also stands for Slime with Gusto Dragon Quest 2 Great Tank and Tail Team, because there are tanks in this game. So I remember playing Rocket Slime back when I was in college and how mind-blowing it was at the time. And this is actually the first Slime Mori Mori game we actually got in English. And the Rocket Slime slash Slime Mori Mori games are technically reboots of each other, so you don't really have to have played the previous games in order to know the story. Because everything technically resets because this is like the first time we're encountering the Plob again, this is the first time we encounter Dr. Sid again, and they're like, I don't remember any previous game. And now it's time to talk about the Rocket Slime game mechanics and the story, and we will be getting into spoilers here, so make sure you're aware of that, but I do recommend you stick around. So Dragon Quest Rocket Slime begins with Rocket and his friends hanging out in Boingburg, and we begin with the Elastoblast tutorial once again. Although for most of us, just like me, the very first time. So Rocket tries to hide a flute inside his body, but it doesn't quite work. But then after that, the PLOP arrives in town! I keep doing this every video. And they demand that Big Daddy, who's Rocket's father, surrender the flute to them, but he refuses and the PLOP attacks with their giant tank! Holy crap! Am I gonna do this again? Yeah. And then they kidnap Rocket, but after a short while, they do throw Rocket out and the flute is broken, so he hides it. No harm done inside my belly. And this is where the main gameplay begins, and now you have two screens to check thanks to the Nintendo DS. The top screen is for the map, and the bottom is for the main game. And just like the previous game, you have to rescue captured slimes, fight bosses, and there's also the day and night time limit which returns in this game. So once you get back to Boingburg, the Plob have ravaged the town, and just like the previous game, the more of your friends you rescue, the more you can get rid of the steel balls and access all the buildings in town, and there is a surfing minigame too, which is really fun. slime a -bunga, dudes! And in order to fight back against the Plob, we need the Shieldman tank located in the tomb of Tootin Shieldman. Tootin Shieldman rolls right off the tongue. And in addition to bringing back enemies, items, and friends back on the carts into town, you can now bring back ammo scattered throughout the map, and you can even use this ammo in certain cannons to get past certain obstacles on the map. And then you eventually meet up with Dr. Sid, and he shows you the tank battle mechanics. Oh boy, man, the tank battles, the tank battles! When this game came out in 2006, and I first played the tank battles, there was nothing 
nothing at the time that compared to this game. There was no other game that was actually doing this. Well, I'm sure there were, but I can't really remember any at the top of my head. But there's no other game that lets you control a tank, fire cannons, and then, oh my god, like, the tank battles are like a work of genius. Like, whoever at Square Enix thought of this is probably smarter than Albert Einstein, because wow. Like, this is one of the most fun game things I've ever played in any video game ever, and I've never gotten tired of it, even to this day, even more than a decade later, because wow, the tank battles, man, oh boy. So the tank battles consist of you loading ammo into your tank cannons and trying to fire them at the enemy tanks in order to deplete their HP. And then once you deplete their HP, you get to go into the core and then that's when you destroy the tank. And for the tank battles, you actually have to use a lot of strategy because the tank battles do get pretty difficult as the game keeps going on. Like for example, you can actually break down the door of your opponent's tank and then you can go inside the enemy's tank and actually stop them from loading up their cannons, which Sack Chief said you can be an asshole. And just in case ammo is a bit slow on the refills, you can actually go inside the cannons and launch yourself and your allies right outside in order to block enemy shots. Because most of the time you're gonna be launching your ammo in order to block enemy shots, so you better time your ammo carefully, and throughout the game you can actually get more powerful ammo. Then once you get the alchemy pot, you can actually construct more powerful ammo. And all the tanks in this game are actually references to past Square Enix games like Chrono Twigger! <laughs> Chrono Twigger! This is so cool! So once Dr. Sid is in town, you can upgrade your tank and even make it more powerful. And I highly recommend doing this after you gather enough items and complete more maps in the game. And like I said before, the alchemy pot from Dragon Quest VIII comes back where you can combine items to make even more powerful ammo. And eventually you do fight tank battles against a slime named Slivel, who becomes your main rival throughout the game. I'm gonna watch you closely, Slivel. Don't slip away from my slimy fingers. So once you rescue the majority of the slimes, you go to the Flying Clotress to fight Don Clayon, and the tank battles are at their absolute hardest, so make sure you're fully prepared. Make sure your tanks are tanked up, man. So just like the previous game, you do fight Don Clayon in two forms, and in his second form, he does get possessed by the evil Dark One, Lucifer. And you and Slivel must put aside your differences to team up to beat him in the hardest tank battle yet. But however, in order to beat this one, kind of fighting him with normal ammo is not going to cut it, so I recommend being an asshole, just like Sack Chief says, going inside his tank and preventing him from loading his cannons, and then destroying the core yourself and your pal Slivel actually launches the cannons for you. So after we defeat Don Clayon, he goes back to normal and he admits he only wanted the warrior flute to give to the TV celebrity Platypunk as a gift, and the credits roll and we see all the tanks and Boingberg at peace. And there is a lot of replay value in this game, so you can collect more monsters, and if you get 100 of a monster, you can actually get a statue of them in town. And then after that, there's extra tank battles with Moray with Gusto! And I spent the majority of my time playing these tank battles, and I can only imagine how much more fun it was to play tank battles with your friends. And if only I had friends to play with back in the day. So Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime for the Nintendo DS is a massive quantum leap over its predecessor, Slime Mori Mori 1 for the Game Boy Advance. And I'm really, really glad we actually got this game in the US because it is amazing. Amazing gameplay, amazing and funny characters, amazing music by Koichi Sugiyama. And also, the tank battles, man. Oh, the tank battles are the most fun I've ever had in a Dragon Quest game, especially in a DS game. And I have to say, Dragon Quest Rocket Slime for the DS is probably my absolute favorite Nintendo DS game. So luckily, Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime for the Nintendo DS is pretty easy to get on eBay. I got a complete in-box copy for about $40, and the Japanese version actually goes for half that much, although shipping brings it up to pretty much the same price. Here's our foes have challenged us to a duel. Shall we depart for the tank? Yes, to arms! Hmm, I don't want to ruin this very, very nice slime shirt I'm wearing, so I'm gonna get changed. All right, I changed into this nice other shirt, so let's go! All right, you mugs, open fire! All foes have opened fire. Hurry and load the cannons. Right away, sir. Yes, your highness. We shall push back their assault and save the day! Less yipping, more firing! 
So those mugs want to play dirty, huh? Boys, load the forbidden ammo. Oh no, you don't mean... Get on it, you lazy bums. Even I shudder to think how damaging this ammo is. Oh my word, what are those? They appear to be YouTube comments. The most despicable ammo of them all. How could the pub sink this low? Oh man, I deal with these on a daily basis. They're enough to tear apart your soul. Hurry, load the cannons. We're out of YouTube comments to fire, sir. I can't believe those bombs deflected them. Cowards can't even take a joke. Well then, hit those mugs with everything we got. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sir, we're out of ammo. What are we gonna do? I have an idea. Let's be assholes. How? Remember what Sachi said in his rocket slime review? Hmm, you're right. Let's rush in there and beat them up personally so they can't load their cannons. Exactly. Okay, Ryan and Servant Slime. Ryan will attack them to the front door and we will be launched out of the cannons for an air assault. Uh, what? Launch me and summon now! Ryan, launch me! Ready to go, your highness? Hey, let's talk about this! Launch me in all my glory! I'm coming for you, Pilobs! I didn't sign up for this! Oh, hey boss, they stopped firing and launched themselves from their tank. One of them's rushing towards the door now! So... They want to be assholes and take the fight here? Man, that sack chief guy pointed out a huge exploit in his rocket slime review. After we finish these bums off, we're going after him too. Here's Slimy! Uh... I'm gonna melt you in that crown of yours, your highness. In the name of Slimia, I will take back my kingdom. All right, I'm here, your highness. Now I get to be an asshole. Sakjay's method works. The core should be open now. Not so fast, you bums. Ryan, you've been a huge mess in my grand plans. That's right, and now we're gonna mess up your tank. That was a lame comeback. Eh, it works. Oh yeah, this works too. <laughs> Ryan! Oh no! <laughs> That's what you get for messing with the plop, father, you bum. Servant, we must continue the fight. Yes, sir. <sighs> Ouch. Well, the core is finally open, so there's only one last thing to do. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! I'm coming for you, plops! Woo! Look out, Ryan's coming through the sky! Woo! Stop him, you bums! Go, Ryan! Yes, be an asshole! Yeah! No! Next time, you slime bums! Next time! Ryan! You did it! We were assholes till the end! Yeah, we did it! Woo! Ooh, thanks for the advice, Sack Chief. And that ends this episode of Awesome Video Game Memories about Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. And stay tuned for next time for the big finale of Rocket Slime 3 for the 3DS. See you there! Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, 
comment and subscribe and make sure to check out these other videos and also make sure to follow me on social media and check out the official Battle Geek Plus website. Take care.